Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. And today, uh, I've got a product review of Comic Capsule. Stick around and let's find out if it's any good. All right, so I met a gentleman uh, during Comics Curing Cancer uh, who lived local to me who came by to pick up uh, his items uh, for that he purchased. And it turns out he was one of the um, creators of this product, Comics Capsule. Um, and he started telling me about it and said, hey, I'm going to send you some and take a look at it and do a review. So here we go. This is a, I'm going to give you an honest review, what I think of these things, uh, good, the bad, the ugly, all that fun stuff. What competent? What what's up against? What purposes serve? So, uh, comic capsule on the surface of everything is it is a um, hard in case for you to put your comics in. I'm a slab guy. You know that. This is an idea of how you can one of the ways you could slab and display your own comics without having to submit them in for grading because one of the things I often get from people is why do you do that to your books I now you can't read them I like to be able to read my books fair I can't read these books anymore not the actual paper book I could get a digital copy or something but I can't read the paper copy if you're a paper copy guy and you want to read it this is not a way you want to go and uh, maybe some sort of self slabbing kit is your choice because you can display the book yet you can take it out and there's several different ways you can do it um, so comic capsule uh, markets themselves as two different things uh, so let's see what that kind of we're talking about here first, first and foremost they talk about this being a full of uh, an item that fully protects the comic book while fitting in your short box so your short box or your long box these will fit inside with the lid on no problem that is no wider than the box right now today most slab kits aren't going to do that unless you have unless you have a slab box the only item you have today that you can put a comic in and put it into the box and it'll still fit in the box is a top loader so this is your traditional top loader uh typically a heavy gauge mylar uh and you can it can accommodate a book either raw or in the uh, bag and board with that you're going to have you know it's pretty f solid on three sides as far as crushing goes, but and then you have the top slides in, and uh, this you, you can still fold the book uh, or potentially damage the book. It's not super. It's not super rigid, but it does offer another layer of protection beyond a simple poly bag and board. So if you have expensive books. Um, so let's say you have a, an Avengers 1 or even just that maybe a rare 1 in 100 uh, ratio comic or something that spe some other book that's special to you or of high value and you want to give it extra protection in that box so it doesn't get damaged because I don't know if you've ever seen but even bagged and boarded sometimes books get damaged sitting inside of the box. Um, so this was the intent behind top loaders to give that extra rigidity. Comics capsule does that. Um, here's an example. I've put a book in here uh, inside of one of these comic capsules. This is a book I've been work I'm actively working on getting a bunch of signatures on, but I want to preserve it and make sure that when I take it from con to con, it's not getting damaged. I have a now a nice solid case it can't be bent uh well if i did i'd probably break it um and i can still get the i can still get the book out uh re really easy because i can just pop the top and the book can then be pulled out um and it'll accommodate it inside of a bag and board or i can put the book in raw um now so a, f a big advantage as far as durability standpoint versus the top loader there's a big difference in price right the top loader these are gonna run you whether you choose for I looked at a couple different brands and essentially gonna run you anywhere from two dollars and twenty cents to two dollars and thirty cents a piece uh, plus shipping uh, if maybe it's your local LCS maybe you can get them for 250 to three bucks a piece without paying shipping um, 
But so that's what these guys are going to run you. Comet Capsule is going to run you nine dollars right now. That's their introductory rate. They have a, on their website listed as a standard MSRP of twelve ninety nine, but right now they're currently running it at nine ninety nine uh, as of the recording of this in December of twenty twenty three. Um, so it looks like you're going to be paying either between ten to thirteen dollars for one of these books. That's a big difference versus the top loader so that's obviously a drawback if you're looking to add a little extra protection within the bag and board then uh per book that's going to be much more expensive however obviously the level of protection vastly superior on the comic capsule now the Comet Capsule also has uh, another competition that it's going up against because it also has, uh, with it, it has a, a hole for you to put nail and mount it that way. Uh, the back is only got a very slight recess meant for th these books, for these things to be able to stack and nest inside of one another. But you can easily mount these onto your wall utilizing command strips if you wanted. Uh, they provide, they do provide you on the back side with a, a template and guide for wall mounting uh, these these books so these are intended to not only be able to be put in your box but also to be a slab display and also because these are super even you can also use these with the comic mounts like I use on my slabs uh, which actually grab from the top and the bottom you can just adjust them to the height of these comic capsules so from that aspect this then also has the competition of a, um, a slab it yourself kit. And here are a couple more examples I've done with some uh, some local art, or community artist, Izzy, uh, did these books for me. And uh, so, so if I wanted to mount those, my competition uh, for this is a couple different there's a couple there's a lot of different things out there you could put them in picture frames you can put them in those but here's a, an example of another product that exists out there this is from ultra pro uh, this is their one touch uh, kit and this slab is a magnetic slab so um, essentially it just has these two magnetic points and uh, it just you can put your book in there and then it just closes up and it has a wall mount. Obviously, this is a lot bigger than this. It's not going to fit inside your short box. So this is strictly a wall display item. Uh, the difference is this is going to run you $19.99. Plus, this, uh, if you're going to put a modern book in here, it requires their own, they have their own special comic preserver. It's thicker than a regular comic bag and board. Regular comic bag board, I tried putting it in here. It moves around. It doesn't doesn't line up right. So you have to get their comic preserver, which is another seven ninety nine. So you end up in this case being like twenty eight dollars in order to do this type of slab it yourself kit with this brand. Now this is super thick acrylic um, and compared to say this this i could bend and break potentially if i wanted to this there's not a chance in hell um but so that's 28 dollars versus our 9 to 13 dollars um this i do from an appearance standpoint i've i'm thinking I think, look how this is super clear. I'm really impressed with that. Um, it is made of an archival PET, uh, so it is uh, acid-free. Same same plastics used mylar, um, just in a different crystalline format. Uh, you know, I, I I think I give the advantage on the look to this, um, and the fact that you can put this inside your um, short box now there's another option that's out there too very popular one uh and that's comic skins uh and comic skins again is going to give you a, a slab it yourself kit so be more traditionally sized like a slab uh, you can see in here if you don't use the uh or even with the inner well because this one does have the inner well in there the book here has gotten uh conky cockeyed oh look at that i can just knock it straight piece of cake um 
but and then you can create your own label whether you do it by hand like uh, Freaky Louie did here for me or whether you go and you uh, utilize their print pr- uh, they have a print program online that you can buy their the labels or how to do it or you can print them yourself set up your own templates however you choose to do it you can have something that looks much more like a regular slab a matter of fact this is what was being used by uh, one of the grading the newer grading companies for a while now disadvantage obviously this is not going to fit inside of a normal short box you'd have to have a slab box for these there's just no right way around it they are nice and thin uh, but you have issues where if I want to use these comic mounts uh, that's not going to work because we got these hinges on the top here um, and so I'm not sure the easiest way if I want to wall mount these there's no other way there's no wall mount spot the only thing I could do is potentially put three uh, command strips right to the back of this and stick this against the wall um, the other thing I don't care about these these things they seal with these black strips and these every time I'm handling them they trying to come off um, so, but anyways, this is another option. These are $19.99. So again, here we are at $9.99. So it's a $10 to $13 versus $20 essentially. Uh, now, obviously you can get these for less if you buy them in bulk. Same thing with these. You can get these in bulk, 10 packs or 60 packs for far less money. So, um, you know, as I'm sitting there taking a look at these, these things, I see the Comet Capsule um, as a good viable product for something if you're especially if you're into a slab it yourself if you're into a slab it yourself type of scenario um, I think that I would definitely uh, go with uh, the Comet Capsule against at least, at least these options that I have here and that I have experience with simple from the standpoint of one they're far cheaper you know we're talking about half the price or more a third of the price in the case of the ultra pro when you consider that liner but the uh they have the advantage that they can also then just be dropped inside of a short box to go i like the fact that also because of the they can fit inside of a box i can put them inside of a uh, a, a carry box with me when i go to um a con so if i want to go to a con you know and i want to take a box along Let's see, will they fit inside of here? No, okay, This in this particular box, they won't. This is a smaller box, but there are slightly larger of these boxes that they will fit in. The regular, sh- the, the shipping ones, uh, those it would fit inside. Um, so anyways, yeah, not a bad, not a bad deal. Now, if I'm looking just to replace top loaders and I'm happy with the performance of top loaders, this is not going to be a viable product at $9.99 versus, or even, you know, let's just say at $9.99. Uh, let's pretend that's going to be the price for indefinitely for the sake of argument of $9.99 versus $250. Uh, you know, obviously $250 is far cheaper if you're happy with the performance of top loaders. If you're not, if you don't care about any of that, then yeah this is not a product for you if you're just a bag and border and you're fine with bags and boards uh and maybe you know the protection that mylar provides uh you know then hey thanks for watching this and no 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 harm no foul but if you're looking for something that's a slab it yourself and has some functionality some versatility or something to protect books when you're uh really really protect books when you're transporting them uh to cons or something uh, you might want to give these guys a check out and try it for yourself and see what you think. Um, you know, the only drawback right now, the biggest drawback to them uh, is going to be that these are for modern books. They, you can't, the, as a modern book, it'll accept the book in a bag and a board. Now, they say you can accept a uh, Silver Age uh, book without the bag and board. Uh, and just putting it raw. Now, when I'm doing a bag and board book, I can just go ahead and slide it right in the top here. No big deal. Uh, but if I want to put a Silver Age book, I'm not going to kind of slide that. So they've got that. This actually just pops out. Um, the back pops out. In a two pieces. So you can then put your book in and then reinsert this over the top of the book 
so that way the book is not getting having to slide down and risk any chipping or anything like that and then it's just going to hold that book then in place all right so there you go uh you really you're probably not going to do uh, so the drawback is no silver age in bags and boards. You're going to have to put it just in there. You're also not going to be able to put any golden age books in any of these right now. Um, but I have, I did hear that their plan is to expand sizes as they go. But for right now, modern age books in bags and boards or silver age, sil silver age books without the bag and board. And of course, that's... The standard silver size understanding that there are some silver age fluctuation in that time guys um so that's my review of comic capsule i think it's a i think it's a nice interesting product that mix uh provides a good uh medium uh between uh the slab the normal slab it yourself kits versus a top loader uh it's a it's a space where there's lots of options for you and just another one for you to consider uh, again they're currently selling them for $9.99 a piece. Uh, normally, they're $12.99 according to their website. Uh, and they have them in 10 and 60 packs for a limited time through the end of December 2023. If you wanted to check them out and you were to buy a 10 pack, if you use the code FATSTACKS as one word at checkout, then you're going to go ahead and get free shipping uh, if you purchase the 10 pack so there's the there's the discount code i'm sorry it's actually robs.fatstacks use that ship that code to get free shipping nothing comes to me uh just lets them know where you heard it from and you get free shipping that's all it's important to me uh guys until next time uh let me know if there's another product out there you'd like to see uh me talk about that you've seen me use or uh and i'll Start doing some product reviews from here time to time. Uh, until next time, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including me. I mean, I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.